Hello everyone, we're back with Vice City Stories. In the last episode, we did a mission for Gonzalez, a rather fun mission at that, well, it was a relaxing mission, where we just shot golf balls at a guy until he exploded. You know, just basic fun missions, you know, stuff like that. And this part, Gonzalez wants us to go see him, so I say, the more the merrier, let's go see Gonzalez and see what he wants. Man, there are a lot of Jeeps in this game, so yeah. Anyway, I didn't go over this. What have you guys been up to in the last part? Oh, not the last part. Well, I've just been... Well, me, myself. I've just been, uh... Recording a lot of Pokemon Leaf Green because I want to get that Let's Play done and over with already. And I want to get... Kind of want to get this Let's Play over with soon. Because I have a plan of what I want to do around November. And I don't want to have, like, three Let's Plays going on. Even though I know I say three Let's Plays... It's technically like feels like two, but I want to get um, these two let's plays over with, and then you know do what I want to do around November because uh, around uh, specifically November 11th is where I want to start like, my next let's play. So yeah. uh, I'm not saying this is I just want to get this let's play over with because it's boring. No, this let's play is actually really fun. It's one of my favorite. G it's I would not say it's one of my favorite GTA games, but we'll figure out what that is. So anyway. Purple Haze by Jimi Hendrix. I guess Jimi Hendrix isn't part of this mission. <laughs> Kidding. Hendrix is dead at this time in 1983. He died like, what, three years ago? Uh, 13 years ago. This, my friend, of a small side deal requiring a sensitive touch. Sensitive? Let's just say I'd rather my boss didn't find out about this. <laughs> or my men, for that matter. Let me guess. You've cut your colonel's coke to make a side profit. Shh, Vic, please. This is, after all, the land of opportunity. He's got a point. I don't care who you rip off, Gonzalez, as long as it's not me. Bueno. The drugs are at Ocean Beach. Take them to the deal in Washington. Sounds good by me. And I say, let's go do it! Getting in the deluxe of this. I personally like the... Oh. Activate trip skip. Yeah, I failed this mission. Sorry. Anyway, I'm not, I'm not going to explain what happened in the mission because, well, honestly, I don't know what happened in the mission. I actually got pulled over by the cop by running a cop over and, well, I died. I didn't, get to, I didn't die. I get busted and I had to reset the game. So, shut up. It happens from time to time. Anyway, uh, let's, let's head off to where the warehouse is. It's, it shouldn't be that far away, I hope. I, I, I totally forgot where I was going. I was like, oh, where am I going? Anyway, oh, nice jump. Not, nice spot. I, I really like the Deluxo. I, feel, I think, I'm pretty sure the, the, yeah, the Deluxo is kind of tough to get in the regular Vice City. I think you gotta do the car dealership mission first, but um, at least I think that's what you gotta do. Nice jump, nice air, nice everything. Dude, that was awesome. I, I wish I uh, Vice City the, the Deluxo would be more common on the streets instead of like in Vice City stories where you can find the Deluxo literally anywhere you go. So yeah, let's uh, let's head off over here to the warehouse. Get to the van containing the drugs. Excellent. It's got my station on. It's like I never left the song. Yeah, this, I love when the sky starts to get like sunsetty and it turns sky turns purple. I really like that. That is one of my favorite touches, favorite personal touches in this game. Because you know it's unique. You know the sky's turning purple. I love it when the sky turns purple in real life. I mean I live in Jersey and all, but still I I can, I would love if the if it did that in Jersey. Look at it. The sky looks perfect. Holy crap! What is this? What just happened? You hit the fan. Oh god. The drugs have gone everywhere. There's more in the zoo than in the back. Quit whining. Let's just get this shit up to the party on Starfish. We got bitches waiting. Oh my god. In the nineteen eighties, you can casually hit people and pick up their cocaine in the back seat. Uh what's taking so long? Ring me Pronto. I'm working on it. Get to the phone bo phone box. Phone box? Who the fuck calls it a phone box? It's a phone booth. Gonzalez. We got hit. The drugs. Those guys just... What? 
Are you the are with me? No, I'm not. What's wrong with you? Are you high on my shit? No. Yeah. I must have been breathing it in while I was out cold. Oh my god. I still have a buyer who might be interested. But he's leaving town real soon. Kill the bastard who did this. And get my drugs back to the lockup. Oh, he'll pay all right. Oh my god. We're high. Under the influence of cocaine. Find the gang that ambushed and recover the village by 4.30. Oh! What a great start. Driving right into the wall. This is actually a really cool touch they had in this game that you're driving under, you're playing under the influence of cocaine. I mean, I really hope no one actually drives vehicles under the influence of cocaine because that's ridiculous. I mean, I know there's people out there who actually do it, but, you know, I, for, for, um, for real sake, I don't condone the use of cocaine and driving at all. I mean... If you use cocaine, yeah, that's that's your business, none of my business. But damn, I mean, wow, driving under the influence of cocaine—that is amazing. All right, what is going on? They're partying, and there's our van with our stuff. So let's get our stuff back. I guess driving under the influence of cocaine is a little bit better than driving under the influence of LSD. I mean, can you imagine that? Playing this, playing like a mission under the influence of LSD? I feel like that would be like, so goddamn tough. The equalizer, holy crap. The fact that I can still aim under the influence of cocaine is amazing. That's a lot of red lights. Alright, get to the van. Excellent. Let's get to the van and. Dude. Is this really what it's like being under the influence of cocaine? Or is cops already waiting for us? Christ. Jesus. Why, don't I, why would I just close the back of the van? Oh, fuck. Come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Dude, driving this car is so much more difficult than driving a motorcycle or something. Like, oh, dude. Oh, dude. I'm actually like, turning my head seeing if this actually works. Oh, God, no. Stop shooting. Stop shooting. I'm an innocent bystander. Just driving with cocaine. Dude. Oh, this is so tough. Is it? Oh my god, can I actually just... That's the way it is. Jeez, the cops are totally buzzkilled right now. And the biggest help right here is the decline. I think my car is smoking, so I'm going to probably need to patch this up soon. Oh, this is so difficult. Whoa, ease it. Ease it. Of course, there'd be cops right here. Thank you, Paul. So where do I need to take it to? I need to take it to the... I do need to take it to the lockup. Okay. Almost there. Just got it. I know. Awesome! Crap. Go, 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 go. Of course. Start to smoke a little bit. Jesus, is not good. Whoa. Did my driving just get a little better? Almost there. Almost there. Cannot fuck this up too much. Okay. Man, I, I feel like the driving just got a little bit better right there. I mean, I don't know. Oh, well, at least you managed to retrieve my merchandise. But I think for our friendship. This is the end. Adios. Oh, that's a shame. But hey, 
Another mission from Rennie, awesome. And we got a thousand dollars, so. But hey, you know, that was fun. You know, still, that was a fun mission. I can't complain about that at all. Many, oh, not many, wow. Rennie still wants us to do missions? I thought we were done with Rennie's missions. I guess not, so. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, jeez, they're shooting at us. Crap. Get away, get away, get away. So yeah, uh, well, we did the mission. You know, that was a fun, it, that was a very interesting mission. A, actually, pretty tough mission, if I do say so myself. I mean, I don't, I've never been under the influence of cocaine, so I would never know if this is exactly how it actually is, driving with cocaine. And I really hope it's not, because I don't want to know what it's like. But yeah, that was a really interesting mission, and I feel like, I mean, I don't know if you guys have played uh, GTA 4, but you can actually play drunk. So maybe they get the idea from this game, which is actually pretty cool. But they actually uh, gave you the ability to drive under the influence of cocaine. I mean, it's a, it's a cool little touch to it. It's just... It's very strange. Okay, that's all I gotta say. But yeah. That was a pretty fun mission. It's better than driving under the influence of LSD. I've never done that. I don't plan on it. I can imagine just walking around that game under the influence of LSD. That'd be so, <coughs> <coughs> so much more difficult. So yeah, if you guys like the video, subscribe, leave a comment. See you guys next time. See you guys then when we uh, start doing uh, one of Lance's missions. So yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I'll see you guys later.